if you were in a biology class, living environment class, or maybe just a middle school science student, more than likely you're probably going to study cells and you might be asked to do a project called A Cell is Like, where you think of an analogy for a cell and then you compare all of the parts of that thing to the actual parts of a cell. This helps you get to know the organelles and gives you an opportunity to think creatively in your class. But if you're like many other students, you might get stuck trying to come up with a perfect idea for your cell is like project or assignment. So in this video, I'm going to go over some cool ideas to help you spice up your cell is like project or just give you some starter ideas if you're stuck and can't think of anything at all. I've seen this project done many times. I've done it with my students year after year, and there's a lot of typical ideas that I like to use as examples, and then I encourage my students to think more creatively about the analogies for their cell. A cell is like a city is very common, as is a cell is like a school, a cell is like a spaceship, a cell is like a restaurant, a cell is like a doctor's office, you get the idea. These are all pretty typical ideas, but one way to make these more interesting or more creative is to make them specific. So instead of just saying a cell is like a city, you can do it as your cell is like a specific town, your hometown, or the place where you live, or a favorite place to travel. A cell is like Paris is much more interesting than a cell is like a generic city with with generic buildings. A cell is like a school, change it to your school and, and use images from the school website or a picture of your principal or take pictures as you walk around the school to show in your project. You could also use a fictional school such as Hogwarts or Abbott Elementary or something else that you've seen in media or read about in books. If you're doing a cell is like a restaurant, you could change it to a cell is like a coffee shop or a cell is like a fancy Italian restaurant or your favorite specific fancy restaurant or a cell is like a fast food chain like a Taco Bell or a Bojangles or is Bees or whatever your chicken place of choice is. Okay, so now we've gone through the generic ideas. Let's think of some more creative ideas for this project. You could do a cell is like a particular show. So stealing ideas from pop culture or fiction. I've had students think of sitcoms they like and then equate all the characters or the buildings or the areas on the sitcom to the cell. So for example, students in the past have done a cell is like the office, the show. And so obviously the nucleus could be Michael Scott and maybe the cell membrane is the elevator where people come in and come out. And and maybe Pam is the mitochondria. You get the idea. I've had students do things like Attack on Titan, Star Trek, use the Death Star, again, Hogwarts, a Hunger Games arena, Middle Earth. Pick any fictional place or show or movie and you can either equate the characters or items or places within that fictional thing to things within the cell. Now, instead of using the usual restaurant or school or home ideas, think of more niche places, somewhere more specific with a very specific following. Maybe it's related to one of your hobbies. So maybe a cell is like a particular fitness studio or a ballet studio. Maybe a cell is like a rare books library. Maybe a cell is like a bouncy gym. A cell is like a movie set. A cell is like a water polo team. A cell is like an escape room or a nail art salon. Or speaking of art, maybe a cell is like an art museum and all of the pictures within the museum museum are ribosomes and obviously the ticket taker at the art museum is the cell membrane etc etc. But you can pick anything you want for this analogy as long as you have a good justifiable reason for why the thing in the analogy matches the actual function of the organelle in the cell. Again these don't have to be exact analogies as long as you can find a way to justify it somehow. Just make sure it's complex enough to have lots of parts to get all your organelles out of the way, including your Golgi apparatus and your endoplasmic reticulum. Maybe a cell is like an event. So think of things like birthday parties and holiday parade, or even a concert or a 5K race or a beauty pageant. All of these things have multiple components that you could equate to different parts within a cell. Also things with moving parts are usually helpful to think of. A cell is like a car. Don't just do a car, do a specific type of car like a Ferrari or a Tesla, or a cell is like a Ferris wheel or a roller coaster, maybe a haunted house or a fun house. A cell is like a subway station, a cell is like a landfill, a fire station, or even a Martian habitat. Lastly, I'm gonna tell you some ideas for things you should not do. Uh, don't pick something living because it's already made of cells and you're gonna get into some fuzzy gray areas where you might be equating the cells within the thing to parts of the cell and then it gets really weird. Also, I wouldn't do a specific environment like a cell is like a lake or anything else with living things in it. I know humans are living, but don't do a cell is like a zoo or a cell is like an aquarium or a cell is like a garden. Again, when you're dealing with too many different living parts, it's gonna get a little bit messy when you're working on your analogy. I also would avoid something that you don't know much about. So if you wanna do a cell is like a computer, but you really don't know that many things about a computer and how the software works and, and all the hardware attachments, then I probably wouldn't do that because you probably won't be able to think of enough ideas to compare it to in the actual cell. I also wouldn't do something too simple, such as a book. 
that's not a specific novel. So like I said, you could do a particular story that could have different parts with characters and objects. But if you're just doing a plain old library book, that book has a spine, pages, words, what else? A cover, a back cover, a front cover. There's not that many different things that you could use to talk about all your cell parts. So try to think of something a little bit more complex. And then finally, everybody wants to say and be funny and say a cell is like a cell or a cell is like a cell phone. Again, cell phones can be tricky because many people don't recognize all the different parts that make a cell phone work. And if you don't know that much about it, you're going to have a hard time coming up with ideas and obviously a cell is like a cell is not an analogy that is just you saying what something is. I hope these ideas have been helpful to get you started in thinking about all of the things you could do for your a cell is like project. Comment below if you have any brilliant or creative ideas for this project. Good luck, thanks so much for watching, give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.